Promoting Albania in the United States, it's not a difficult job because we have a very large and active diaspora present in the United States, all over the East Coast, which has very sound relations with different uh, elected officials and government officials, and which are a real support for the embassy. On the other hand, we as an embassy try our best to promote Albania and in a certain way it's not difficult because Albania has all the needed resources starting from human resources it has a very young population talented educated which means you have a talented workforce in place and then it has a lot of natural resources tourism could be a good pillar of development for Albania. We have a beautiful 400 kilometers seashore, beautiful beaches, not yet explored, let's say. And we have also a lot of minerals, but we have a lot of uh, water resources to be used for energy. And we have also uh, a very good and sound basis for developing agriculture because till now everything is bioproduct in Albania. And I have to say that the latest achievement of Albania's diplomacy, which I believe we have our own share in that, is the decision taken by Shadenis of Azerbaijan to build the Trans Adriatic Pipeline, so called TAP which will bring the Azeri gas through Georgia, Turkey, Greece, Albania, to Italy, and then to European Union. So this is a, a revolution for Albania's economy. So with all these developments, which have happened in the last 20 years, uh, I think it's, it's an easy job to promote Albania. I've studied English language and literature and my beloved author has always been William Shakespeare for a reason that he has produced such masterpieces and more importantly he has produced so wonderful and powerful characters it seems that in his characters you find a lot of wit and wisdom and I must say that my beloved character is Hamlet but I cannot leave aside the character of the fool which is the most complex character produced by William Shakespeare in the fool you'll find everything about the character and characteristics of a human being if you connect it to diplomacy I think that you can find an answer in the works and masterpieces of Shakespeare for everything, for every problem. I have also studied diplomacy in 1994 in Switzerland and in 1995 here in the United States of America in the Foreign Service Institute. And I think the combination of both is a very good uh, example of problem solving. I believe that heroes do exist in the real world. They do exist in the masterpieces of literature. But the most important thing is to give solutions to the problems. And for that, you have to dig in wherever it is possible. I'm very focused on my family first. I also used to play volleyball and I love fishing. It seems they have nothing to do with diplomacy, but in fact, they have a lot. First, being family oriented and family focused, you always need the support of your family as a diplomat because you have to move from place to place together with your family and you always need their. 24 hour support. Second, having played sports 
I think diplomacy and sports have a lot of common things. You have to view the other side not as an enemy, but as a, a game player. Of course, you try to win, the other side tries to win. But this is diplomacy. Somebody says that it's the art of impossible, but I think all things are possible in the real life.